Senator Roy Blunt is with us on day one of government shutdown 2013. Senator, good morning. Good morning, AJ. How are you this morning? Doing well, sir. Lots of lots of folks commenting, calling in, and, and texting in this morning. Uh, that One of the things they're particularly upset about is that Congress continues to get paid. I've already heard from Congressman Yoder this morning, says he will refuse pay. Wondering if you will do the same, even though the Constitution demands that you get paid. Even though the Constitution demands that I get paid? Yeah. Which it, which it does, of course. Maybe Congressman Yoder and I can just give more of our money to charity than we otherwise would give. It's, you know, it's, a, it's a silly thing to have a debate about. But the problem is we've spent way too much time talking about things that really don't matter as opposed to things that really do matter. You know, people get hurt when the government isn't open, uh, not just the families of government employees, but, you know, you've got thousands of border security guards out there today who go to go to a dangerous job every day. The one thing they could count on was that their families were going to at least have a paycheck. Uh, we need to get this problem solved. We need to stop hundreds of dollars, and we need to talk about why it is that the government's not functioning. You know, fortunately, the Kansas City Chiefs are doing a whole lot better uh, than the United States government. Uh, and stop talking about little stuff. This is a big issue, uh, and the government is shut down. But, to, Senator, it's... it's, it's I, 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 about, people are concerned about whether anybody gets paid or not. Every one of my staffers is working today. Senator, I think and everyone's concerned about today. it. Senator, I think everyone's concerned about it. Pardon the interruption, but I think they're concerned about it because they blame you. And they blame four, 534 other people on Capitol Hill who don't get anything done. And we end up in this because of partisan bickering. I, 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 I agree with that totally. The, the Senate hasn't passed a single appropriations bill, and the new spending year begins today. The problem here is dysfunction. It's the president managing by crisis. There's plenty of blame to go around. So, you know, if all I did was call in so you could blame me, you just go ahead and do that, and I'll listen. Why not a short-term budget passed until you can figure out the big picture? Why Why would that not be a good idea? Uh, Ellen, I, I agree with that. I think nobody benefits from a government shutdown. That's why... I said for some time, even though I'm an opponent of the president's health care plan and I don't think it will work and I'll do almost anything to try to change or improve it, uh, that shutting down the government was a strategy that would never work because what's happening today, all the mandatory spending for the president's health care plan still goes on. You know, the, the president's health care plan wasn't funded by the annual appropriations bill. It was funded by a law that I voted against, that the Congress passed, that the president signed. I don't know what your calls were a week ago, but some of them at least were shut down the government unless the president agrees to do away with his signature domestic program. Senator, and that was never going to work. Senator, if we can't deal with this, how are we going to deal with when we hit the borrowing limit in mid-October? Yeah, I actually think we're at a point now we should deal with both the things right now. Uh, the, the borrowing limits are gonna, not going to, whether it's October 17th or the 20th, uh, we're close enough. Let's solve this problem. Why do we? Why do we make everything a crisis? Why does the president manage by crisis? Why does the Congress not do its job? And I am consistent on saying let's obey the law. The Budget Control Act sets some limits of how much money we can spend. Let's get these appropriations bills to the floor. Let's debate priorities. But, you know, I'm in the minority in the Senate, and no matter how many times I say that, I can't make Senator Reid do that. But hopefully this kind of dysfunction will shake everybody back into their senses. Senator, it's always good to talk to you, and we'll keep our fingers crossed we can get this thing ended quickly. Hey, hey, me too, guys, and uh, thanks for what you do and what you're talking about every day. And, and we do need, we all deserve a government that functions like the Constitution envisions it to. And that means when, you know, my side controls one half of one third of the government, we are not going to get everything we want, but that doesn't mean the government can't continue to do what it's supposed to do. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt with us on the news line this morning. We should also note that the senator is always available to us, and we certainly appreciate that when, uh, when our local Local representatives make themselves available to us, and Senator Blunt is one of those who does.